Hey, hello again. Uh, welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. This is a fishing dive show made just for you. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe. So on this episode, um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking, uh, hey, do I sell those little Aku, those magic Aku flies? And unfortunately, I, I, I don't sell, you know, taco that much and I don't even sell like these things or anything. So, um, but you know what they say, like, uh, give a man a fish, they'll eat for a day, teach a man to fish, they'll eat for a lifetime. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna show you how to make my magical aku lures. I'm telling you, these things catch even when the fish aren't biting. So if you go to the buoys and they're not biting, use one of these and almost always you'll catch it. If you don't catch, they're probably not around. So, all right. Um, and if it helps you out, make sure you guys like and subscribe and uh, let's get right to it. Boom. <laughs> Check these out. So this will be your custom made flies. Again, no need to be perfect. Only humans take picture of the food. If a tuna is hungry or a little sh uh, shivi or aku is hungry, they go pound these. Look at that. All with homemade stuff, no special equipment. <clears throat> so to make the flies, it's actually super simple. Um, pretty much all you guys have this at home. Um, no fancy equipment, no fancy tools, just a hot glue gun, some scissors, a uh, little thread, and uh, I like to use these Japan double hooks. You can see about the size, it's about like right about there. And I'm gonna have just some uh, stick on eyes. And of course, you, I like, I like, before I used to use always rainbow yarn, but now with this new products of all this really shiny marla, mylar i think it, what it does it gives it such good shine and spark that it just it just outperforms i like to say clark spoons and everything else so i like to put a base coat of either blue or pink on the inside and then on the outside i i, I put like either thin or thicker I like, I like this crimpled uh mylar i think it gives a way better flash so i'll show you how to put that together Okay, all you're gonna start off is with just, I don't know, what is that, about four, four or five inches of this pink one. This is the rainbow yarn. And that's gonna be like your body on the inside. And I go about a little bit longer, like a shaka, so six, seven inches on the mylar. So what you're gonna do, it's super simple. And again, there's way better ways to make real flies and stuff, but I think these get eaten and you lose them faster than you, you know, than they last. They'll last you their lifetime, basically. So all I do is stick it through, just like that. And I kind of leave one end a little shorter than the other, just to give like a body a little thicker profile, just like that. See how like one side's a little shorter than this side? So it makes it a little, the body a little fatter. Just like that, super simple. Next step is the hardest part, grabbing all this, putting it together. So what I could do is actually recut it right here. So that way it's all nice and tight. You could tape it also. Okay, so now make my hole again, just stick it through. So you're basically sticking everything through the eye. So it's super simple. It's not like you're making any fancy moves or ties or anything. You're just gonna stick it through, get it about halfway, and then pull it down. Okay, so it's just like that. And don't worry if it looks ugly, you can trim all this off at the end, okay? Okay, once you got it through the eye, you can take the bottom side, and kind of just straighten it out. Take your string, just wrap it around. That's to, just to lock it in. And then now you're gonna fold the other end down. This will really lock it in. And then I'll just wrap it a couple of times. And what I do is I just wrap it, maybe like not even half inch down, maybe a quarter inch to half inch, somewhere around there. 
basically all you want is to make room for your eye and you want your mylar to all be kind of evenly spaced okay and then all you have to do is maybe put a couple half inches just to seal it off Just so it doesn't unravel when you try to glue it. All right, now that my glue gun is nice and hot, see how my fly looks? Not bad. I'm just gonna put hot glue around the head, kind of in a shape of a lure, kind of spade shaped. Make sure you get it inside the eye also. Cause they sell all these kind of UV resins and stuff, but ah, this works good enough. And I made it, I make it kind of fat actually. And it'll dry like this. So I kind of got it to the shape I want. Can you see that? It's all clear, so whatever, um thread color you want to wrap it in that's what color the head is going to be so like if i wanted to make it like a silver head i could use silver thread or if i want to make it a blue head i can use the silver or blue string okay so once it gets like kind of tacky i should say not completely cold but not super hot i want to actually drop in the eyes right on the sides Okay, that's one. And, oops, that's one more. Okay, and then actually once you got these eyes on, you can kind of like squish them in a little bit. And they'll actually take shape. They'll actually sink into the head. See, look at that. So actually, when you squish them in, the edges of the glue kind of overlap the eye. So it really holds them, holds them in well when they're dragging inside the water so they don't just pop off. Because when you're trolling this thing, it'll be going like this. If you leave a lip, it'll, it'll rip the eyes right off. So if I, I kind of squeeze them into the hot glue, they'll set really well. See, just like that. And look at the shine on that thing. I probably could put more Mylar, but this is the first one, so. All right, cool. Eat me, eat me. All right, the last, as you can see, I got four pinks, four blues. You can kind of see how it looks. Pretty cool looking. And then even with the blues, I made one like this. And then one with the blue. So this is like with this with the white yarn and this is with the, with the blue yarn for the head. So you can see the difference. Whatever preference you want, but came out pretty sick. The last thing is to trim these down, so. Start with the pinks. So like this one, I made it kind of long. I'm just gonna trim some of the stragglers. I'm just gonna make it kind of the shape I want. I don't want it too big. Bonsai action. So remember that this doesn't need to be perfect because I promise you, we are humans are the only animals on the planet that take a picture of their food before they eat it. If a fish is hungry and this comes across his face, it's going to eat it. It doesn't matter if the eyes are a little crooked or it's not the right perfect color. If they're hungry and this looks like food, they're going to eat it. So, all right, so just trim these up and good luck. Yeah, Hanapa, <laughs> fish on. Yeah. Hooraja. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Aku's lick your screen. <laughs> this really, if you like this video, whatever, just give me a thumbs up and feel free to join the On Fire Fishing family and press that subscribe button. All right. Hey, guys. Thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. 
Uh, hopefully you guys catch a lot of fish out there and be able to feed your families and maybe uh, share with some of your friends and neighbors and stuff and maybe even give me some. Nah, nah. Um, Alright guys, catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>